Today we're at White Earth Bay on Lake Sakakawea spawning walleyes with Fisheries Supervisor Dave Frieda. I'm Mike Anderson with the North Dakota Game and Fish Department. Welcome to the program, Dave. Dave, what's the process back here? What are your, what are your fisheries crews doing? Well, today we're spawning walleyes at uh, White Earth Bay, upper end of Lake Sakakawea. Uh, this is where it all begins, where our eggs come from for production, where fish end up throughout the state. The process is relatively straightforward. We've had nets set here for several days, and the crew goes out and we uh, collect the fish out of those nets and separate them into the males and females, and they're brought back here to the to the ramp behind us and the eggs will be taken from the females and fertilized with the males and uh, then we'll, these eggs will go back to Garrison Dam National Fish Hatchery and at that point the Fish and Wildlife Service is in charge of hatching those eggs and then raising those fry into fingerlings in the ponds at Garrison and sometime mid-June and a little later those fish will be taken out of those ponds and stocked throughout the state of North Dakota. Dave, how many eggs are we looking to take today? Today we'll probably have 100 quarts of eggs. Okay. I would say we should have a pretty big day. And what's that mean? And 100 quarts is roughly how there, many there's eggs? There's about 120,000 eggs on a quart. Okay. So. And how about how about for the year? How many eggs are we taking? Uh, around 500 quarts. Okay. And this is where it all starts. This is one of the locations we are today. This crew is spawning at White Earth. Uh, we also have another crew spawning today at Douglas Bay. We have nets from White Earth Bay here. Uh, up to 100 miles to the east end of the lake. We have nets spread out, so we're at various locations throughout the reservoir. Dave, this is the lowest the water's been in a number of years. How does that affect this process? Yeah, it's the lowest we've been in well over a decade since the mid-2000s, just prior to 2008. Um, it doesn't really change the process much. It changes how we go about it, I guess. Uh, it creates a little bit of challenges. We we target the upper end of these large bays with creek arms coming in. That's where fish tend to congregate prior to spawning. Uh, therefore, the upper end of these bays, a lot of them are silted in over time. And as water levels drop, where our net locations were, you know, the last decade, those places are high and dry or really silted in. So it's required adjusting our net locations and things like that. But you're finding plenty of fish. Yeah, it's going really well. We got a late start. Um, it was late spring, everybody knows that. Uh, about the time we wanted to get in, we had a second blizzard. Um, but yeah, there's really good numbers of fish here at White Earth and at Douglas Bay, they're, they're dealing with a lot of fish too. Dave, what's, what triggers the spawning for walleye? Two things, water temperature and photo period. Photo period is, is the big driver. Um, length of the day, daylight, as the days get longer, fish are tuned in. And, and typically, it'll vary a little bit either way if we have an early spring or late spring, but, but not a lot. Typically, the first, first part of May, first week of May, is the peak of the walleye spawn on the majority of Lake Sakakawea. Water temp cues it when we get into that, we start seeing fish in the mid upper 40s into a little over 50 is kind of where we want. We don't, the problem is when we get later in the year like this, when it gets really warm, the temps during the day can spike up so high that if that water temp gets in the mid upper 50s when we're spawning, it's hard on the eggs. It's, we don't get as good at egg quality. So ideally we don't want it to warm up too much. And with this process, you'll be stocking many lakes with these fingerlings. Yeah, these fish will go all across the state of North Dakota to our record number of walleye fisheries across the state. So um, yeah, the majority of the walleyes caught throughout North Dakota originate from Lake Skakawea's eggs that we collect in operations like this. A lot of great information, Dave. Thank you.